Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. Today we're going to be learning all about sound waves and doing some fun experiments along the way. But first, we need to understand what a sound wave is. Come on! Sound is a wave which is created by a vibrating object that moves through a medium. Sound travels in a wave and the wave transports energy from one location to another. We can use a slinky to visualize how waves move. As the first coil of the slinky is disturbed, it pushes or pulls on the second coil, then the third coil, and so on. The disturbance travels through the slinky. So earlier I mentioned that sound waves come from something vibrating. We can actually feel on our bodies where that happens with our own voices. Every time we talk or make noises with our mouth, we are producing sound waves. This is because of the vibrations in our voice boxes. Let's make some together. Everyone, touch your voice box and make an ah sound. Did you feel some sort of movement under your fingertips? Those are the vibrations that are making the sound waves and produce the noise we hear. Now, we can hear the sound waves but, and we can feel the vibrations in our voice boxes. But can we see sound waves? Hmm. We can't see sound waves in the air, but we can do an experiment with something called a tuning fork and see sound waves move through water. To do this activity, we will need a bowl of water, some tuning forks, a rubber mallet, and a cork. If you look closely, you can see the ripples forming in the water. Where in nature might you see something bobbing up and down on the water like this cork? My first thought is seabirds on ocean waves. The tuning fork isn't the only item that makes sound waves through vibrations. We can also see this in a rubber band. You can take a rubber band between your fingers, stretch it tight, and pluck it to make sounds. What is the rubber band doing? It's making sound and it's also moving or vibrating. If you look really closely, you can see the vibrations. Now, you can try this at home, but remember, rubber bands can be dangerous and we want to make sure we are not using them as a weapon and not pulling them too tight because then it can snap. You can hold the rubber band in different ways to make different sounds. Give it a try. Now that we've made sound waves and seen them in a few different ways, let's talk about why sound waves might be important in nature. Sounds are how we and other animals communicate. Take a minute to think about some sounds used for communication out in nature. Whales in the ocean use a slow and long groan to communicate with each other over long distances. Chipmunks use a high and fast squeak to communicate with other animals. Thanks for coming along today. Now go outside and see what sounds you can hear around your home.